Australia, the WACA ground in Perth, already a good crowd in here. They're expecting something around about 15,000 for game 12, the final game of this Carlton series. It's Australia against Zimbabwe. Let's have a look now and confirm what Steve War said about the bowling side of things. Glenn McGrath, Nathan Bracken, Damien Fleming, Brett Lee and Ian Harvey. They'll get through the full 50 overs there. Uh, Zimbabwe. Well, they're putting their best side in. Alistair Campbell. Gavin Rennie comes in from 12th man. He's been carrying the drinks for three games now. And then Stuart Carlisle, the two flowers, Andy and Grant. Heath Streep is the man on the left of your picture, bottom left. And he is about to bowl the first ball. Adam Gilchrist taking strike. And in the commentary box after that first delivery, Bill Laurie and Michael Holding. Thank you, Richie. Good morning to all our viewers. Wonderful start by the... Zimbabwe skipper, he's bowling to the local pair, Damien Martin and Adam Gilchris. It's time to glance this beautifully. Four delivery, six off the over, well played. And here she goes, it's over mid off. One bounce, two bounces into the fence. He's a very dangerous creature. Just got a little bit of whip, mates, and whip as well. Oh, three point. The catch it was a cry. He was diving forward. Brian Murphy goes for four. I don't think it carries. Went very quickly. That's a cry of catch it. Charge over points. That's going to be four more. I didn't intend to hit it there. I think he tried to hit that over cover. The tip was clear. Both Damien Martin and Andy Griffiths. Prepared to hit the ball over the infield in the first 15 overs. Charts, beautifully played shot. He gets a man of short mid wicket. That's four. He's, that speed is always quick and quickest. Many times the ball it goes off a rocket. Charge over cover. This is great stuff. Good intelligent batting in the first 15 overs. Tensional shot, off the shot here and on the up. So no team has actually gone through this competition undefeated. Well, that's into the gap, lovely shot, beautiful cover drive. This outfield is fast and that's his fourth boundary. Lovely shot. Yes, he bowled into the breeze on Friday night and bowled six overs, done for three in his first bell. Now he's going to have a go with the breeze today. Short delivery, beautifully played away, that's four. Boy, does he get onto them quickly. That was short, and uh, he was in position in a flash and got it away to mid-wicket. That's the 50 partnership. Eight boundaries in all. Oh, inside edge, make that nine. Didn't mean uh, that one to go there, that's for sure. Good short of length delivery, a little bit of movement. Inside edge to the boundary. No wicket for 57. As he played again, beautiful shot through the wicket. Don't bother chasing that. That's uh, over the line for four as well. That's got him, he's out, caught behind. Yes, he's got a little bit of bounce there. Well, I think he's brought about his own downfall there, Gilchrist. Going into his shell a little bit, trying to play that little steer shot again. And that one bounced on him just a little more than he expected. They haven't got it right until then, the Zimbabweans. And of course it comes on to his streak to get it right. It's one of the 66. So Ricky Ponting is the new batsman. We to see how he goes here. Yeah, also uh, very capable of uh, anything short. Oh, that's nicely played as well into the gap and away down to the boundary for four. Use his feet beautifully. And again, almost exactly the same. Beautifully played. And another boundary. Well, it was almost exactly the same spot down there on the boundary. Smash through the offside. Oh, what a shot. Oh, Ponting is having a good time of it out there. Fraction short and a fraction wide by Malecki and Carla. Men are there to put some pressure on Ponting. I didn't even see them. Much 
Armstrong leg stump on that occasion, and he pays for it. Hesitation, and there's a run out on. Ponting is the man that's uh, gone. Umpire Harper is uh, calling for the replay. Billsman left it a long time before he actually uh, took the bales off. And, uh, it's a good half a metre with uh, ball breaking stumps. It's two for 110. Michael Bevan is the new batsman with Ricky Ponting having been left high and dry by his partner Damien Martin. Martin pulls away. Coming back to the second, that's a well-made 50. Having a tremendous summer, Damien Martin. That's the over bowl, two for 114. Cracking shots. A beautiful back foot fire, Damien Martin. First four in 14 overs, but he does play beautifully behind point. That's racing away and it'll beat them both. Yes, it's into the fence for four. Desperate stuff out of the deep there, but uh, no way they're going to stop that. It was beautifully struck. Here for 161. And that's not far away. That, and that is out. That's three more bombs, a bit flatter in trajectory, pushed it through and it turned just a fraction. Good shout there from uh, from the keeper, Andy Flower. Ball just turning back a little bit from outside off stump. Remember he's on his way. It's three for 204. Ian Harvey's come out now ahead of Steve Moore and Mark Moore. The Australians trying to uh, give as many players as possible Valuable match practice. He's got it with a full toss. Uh, second century for Damien Martin. First uh, he made against New Zealand in Auckland at the uh, beginning of uh, the year 2000. It's a good one. 42 overs gone now. 3 for 219. He's doing it well. Good footwork. For a moment, it looked as though uh, he might have got a bit too far, got a bit too close to the ball. Struck it beautifully. And that's gone between the man inside the fielding circle and extra cover, and the man in deep cover, and it went like a rocket. Murphy was perhaps outfoxed there by Damien Martin. Martin previously had headed it outside leg stump when he was coming down the pitch. Nice scratch up. His placement has been very, very good. Lorry's in the con box now and with him Michael Holden. Thank you, Richie. Five overs to be bowled. He shoots some fireworks. as a big hit. The man's hit. Then a car will go to his head. It will be a big six. At the ball catch, Harvey hitting with the breeze. Struck that superbly. Well, lovely. Good crowd here. Wonderful back to display again. Well, this is further. This is a longer one. This is going back, back, back. Oh, a big hit. Worth the time by Ian Harvey. Only second time at the press. The summer in the Carlton series. It's a long week. That's a very long week. Can he go for hat trick? He does and he does it. It's an over the car is going back. He won't catch it. That's beautiful, Bailey. Hat trick of six is here on the And the crowd are going wild. I think it's gone out of the rope. I think you'll find that's a six. Four sixes in the one over, a drop catch out of the hands. I'm sure that went over the rope. It's a long way away from the concrete box. That's tremendous hitting. And selfish cricket by Ian Harvey. And Kyle, like, cool enough. 
The one that getting much closer than this. Right by the ropes, just bounced inside. Not catch, it's all happening. It's gone for the game. This time scoring should catch it, surely. He's gone. And what an over. Very good over from Australia. Harvey in the ball superbly. So it's Paul Carlisle for 37. One for ovation. Got him. Good length. Bent league game for the square drive. He split gets his second wicket. Good length. Good pace. Hit of swing. But perfect the length and line. Five for 282. It goes into the gap. It's four. They are going wild. Vocal hero. We're returning it on here this afternoon. Crash that down the ground. Just a single. And for one of the winnings from Damien Martin, he's been right through. So after 50 overs, the Australians have turned it on once again. Five to 302. The vocal there, Damien Martin, has got it superbly. Common sense innings, 12 boundaries. 144 of 149. Another dazzling batting display. Well, the ball was tried hard. Certainly a good batting pitch. He scored 2 for 63. I thought McCoy did a very good job today by awkward times. Today was number 48. Zimbabwe, by 303 to win off 50 overs. 10 wickets in hand. An excellent run rate. McCoy 6.06. You picked it well in here. They are as safe as houses uh, on those hands. This is one more so than Mark Wall. He went flying away off the outside edge, pretty low. Mark Wall very casually washed it straight into his hands. And one Zimbabwe is already out. Stuart Collar is the new batsman. And, uh, well, he's confronted with slips, gullies, absolutely everywhere. And... Uh, as far as bowling is concerned, Damien Fleming has got the ball from that end. In the air and lying away off the edge for four, but no ball caught in any event. Oh, and dropped him. That was nearly a brilliant catch. That certainly went flying away. Steve Wall moves quickly to his right. All the way it was, he got a hand on it, that's for sure. In the air, oh, he's dropped it, he, we've dropped one. Well, Damien Martin is the man at first slip, he went for it. He had to go to his left a little bit there, and uh, well, they put one down. They set such high standards, this will not make him happy. Oh, good shot, beautifully played. Nice and straight, the mid on is quite wide. Four. that one because it's right up there for him and he's hit it in the middle three slips and two goalies for Stuart Clark and one more man in slip call and then for Alistair Campbell so lots of space down the ground even more space in the stands driving on the rise again Stuart Carlisle oh he's well, he's missed the stump straight lead. Alistair Campbell definitely yelled out no, but Paolo uh, obviously didn't hear it, just kept running. Well, if he wasn't the only one who didn't hear anything, I'm sure Brett Lee didn't hear anything from his, his teammates either. Well, certainly they would have told him that the maximum was a long way out, no point in throwing it. Pull behind, so he's got Campbell, and missed out on the run out of uh, Carlisle. They got uh, Campbell a second prize. But of the two, I'm sure they would prefer to get rid of Alison. He certainly is the man that would have been trying his very best and more capable of getting the boundaries. But he strikes. Oh, into the gap, just wide of Gully. 
Big walk. That's four. Sixteen overs gone. Normally that's not a bad start. Two for seventy-three. The target's three hundred and three here at the Wacker. Magnificent batting performance by the Australians. Yeah. Well played. Andy Flower finding the gap of cover, running up the hill. It's going to go very close. And that's beautifully timed. This gives you an idea of uh, how fast this outfield is. The ground is in superb condition. Over the top this time. That's good value. That's intentional slash over the slip cord. Andy Flower has been felt a bit by the bounce. Certainly it wasn't Friday. Going for it. Plenty of bat on ball. That's three quick boundaries. That's a cracking shot. This time he finds a gap. Andy Flower getting wide at front in this time. Good shot. He's playing the boundaries now, Andy Flower. Four fours. Scoring again. That's a better shot. That's a ripper. The square drive this time is four and wider. One thing about him, you're facing a genuine fast ball. If you can get it right, good lead for shots. That was a gem. That's a rip of a cat. A bottom edge, you don't see that very often. Gilchrist writes this massive crowd with a beautiful piece of work with the vibes. That is a gem, you don't normally see that. It didn't go straight to ground, we caught that beautifully. It was like a rifle shot, break and breaks through. That's the end of Andy Flower. A reflex catch, a beauty. And uh, Andy Flower's out now for 24 from 30, 3 from 91. <laughs> Flower replaces his brother Andy Flower, who was dismissed with a gem of a catch, a reflex catch by Adam Gilchrist. That's a beautiful shot. That's superbly timed. We go all the way. Certainly got nine runs of two deliveries. Moves up the hundred for three. But uh, he won't get to. That's a very good shot. Exactly what they needed. They need some boundaries here now, and uh, well, Carlisle facing that one perfectly. So that's very well played. It was over pitched, and uh, the placement was absolutely perfect. It turned off quite wide, and of course, that's brought up Carlisle's half century. He's um, played some good cricket just lately. Last three or four knocks have been uh, pretty good. Ball well played. Down the wicket. More of that's required. Some aggression there. Grand Flower that time. Doing uh, exactly the right thing. Handled in at him a little bit. Trying to get it away on the onside and succeeding. 3 to 138. Level continuing. And that's hit straight down the ground for four. That's better. That's exactly what's needed. Lovely shot. Couple of bounces into the fence for four, right off the middle of the bat, bat as well. So Stuart Carlisle taking it upon himself to try and make sure that they don't get too far behind. Brilliant shot once again. If they can get him bowling like he is in this match and the last match in Sydney, it just takes a whole lot of pressure out of the bowling lineup for Steve Waugh. Oh. That'll be a bottom edge types of dismissals that Devon will all, always bring a wicket keeper. He's not easy to wicket keep to. It's fast, there's a flurry of arm and wrist. And well, we haven't been far behind, but they have been behind and then they've got to match that 93. Well, that start. It may have been that he picked it, although I'm a little doubtful because he's played the pull shot to uh, the wrong and they're spinning away to the offside. That's a lovely shot. That's a beautifully steered cover drive, and it's going to beat them, is it? It'll be a good stop. Oh, it's a wonderful stop. That uh, certainly is commitment for you. Ponting, diving full length. He chased that one right to the rope, dived, and managed to get a hand on it, drag it back. Bentley was there to pick it up. A oh, good shot, another good shot, wide of mid on. Brentley can't be enjoying this. And Bob Williams are clearly taking to him. They've given him some hammer today. Oh, and that's a beamer. No ball and four. Well, that's a very dangerous delivery. And 
and uh, that gives him his half century. So Ron Flower has recorded his half century. It's three for two hundred and twelve. For the second, they've scored it. Oh yes, um, one short being signalled there by by the umpire. Oh, well, um, it's a bit naughty. So 10.25 now, and uh, a little message seems to have arrived in the centre. The um, fourth man just trotting off the ground, having had a chat to the batsman. Trevor Madongo there, uh, disappearing off the ground now. I think the message was, we want some fours, and uh, what's happened? First one being climbed the way down towards square leg for what about That's a good shot too, he's hit that one beautifully through the covers. Will it go for four? A good effort again, no, it's gone. Oh, this is more like it. Message from Trevor Redondo has certainly made a difference. Oh, he's hit that one as well. That's gone bouncing away down towards the boundary, that's four. Well, I don't know, but this is turning out to be for Zimbabwe. Punch at 149. Carlisle uh, has really got to keep going now, just as Damian Martin did in the Australian innings. Kept on going once he got to the century. Well, pitch is four. Carl Craig makes a hundred. That's a very good hundred. He showed some promise throughout the series. This time he's gone on. A good old partnership. A grandfather and Stuart Carlisle. It's the best side in the competition. Come up close to a power. The charts into the gap. This will be four. Conning's going. I don't think he'll make it. No, four more. Early on in his innings, Stuart Carlisle was timing the ball just like this. And he kept picking out the fieldsman. Good shot. Very good shot. That's superbly playing. He's picked it up the big stuff. And it will go all the way. Found the gap from over the man and fine leg. This is a very good punch. Very intelligent batting. Grand foul on that occasion. For just four more. That's well played. Wake it for it. Turn off the over. The end of the real chance here is in Barbie. It's a great run chase. Three for 267. That's the lead. It's the unbeaten side there. Three for 271. 47th over. A sweep and he gets past the man. Caught him by surprise a bit. It's going close to the road. They'll be very close. It's there. Very good intelligent batting. The man at back with a point got a bit of a shot. We beat Australia once. That was in the World Cup. 1993. He's got it, oh what a fieldsman, has to be Mark Waugh, 100 catches in one international, that was a win, that was going for four, it was going to the gap, he threw out the right hand, remained poised for the great catch. And he just made it look so simple, Mark Waugh, most fielders would have been really struggling with that one, that ends a terrific knock from Stuart Carlisle, he scored for 278 and it should be each streak to come. <laughs> Street, George Davey, leading average for Zimbabwe with the bat, average of 39. He can clear that mid-off boundary as we saw the other day, very comfortably. It's gone for it, and it's it going, it's going, and it's gone. Good call in here, Chapel. Tremendous bat, he's just walking out of the dressing room. He's targeting his ball superbly, he's hitting as straight as a die, as clean as a whistle. It's beautiful batting. Gone well, straight off Harvey's off. Can we run if he hits? We hit. He doesn't. Would have been a tragedy. We really run off Harvey's boot. Steve Wall came in quickly. Couldn't find the timber. 16 off 8. Harvey can hit another 6. He snuck it down the ground. They look for 2. But Simons will be dicey. Here he comes. He'll be gone. Sure, he's out. It's worth the effort. He's still got one run. Yeah, the end of a wonderful innings 
from Grant Fire Simons, the 12th man, Grant Fire's been under pressure. No sign of a fumble. Perfect throw. And Harvey, he's great. He's got to get one to catch! Oh, what a match winning catch! They call him a freak and he's done something freakish just at the right time. This freak struck that beautifully. Harvey dived to his left and took a super catch. Well, that is a very good effort. Ian Harvey, because that ball was struck very firmly because the ball wasn't hit straight at Harvey he had to move to his left and it was travelling pretty quickly excellent catch the goalkeeper diving away to his left and I think he realises what he's just done he's probably won the match for Australia now I think the Australians the favourite, they get to get 15 off the last day from Greg McGrath I think that's almost impossible so it's McGrath from the river end Really on strike for the first time this summer. The ice got in the way, good cricket! Well, what a good start. They're facing the ground for the first time with 15 off the over. They take a chance, you can move across the offside and you chip him away. Well, certainly it was a big gamble, and Glenn McGrath had it pretty well on line. Level number five, apparently off this ball, they'll be right in again. He's got it away. They've got to go for two, go on, McGrath's in a run, keep going, they keep going, he stumbles, he throws just slow and he's home. Nine of four. So we've got it again, he's done it, they can win this now. They certainly can win it. Second time, he's moved across the chip, this is a guy that hasn't better this summer. As you say, here, this can be made in the situation, but we're not home yet. Now... He's tried it twice and he's got away with it. The question is, does he keep going? Does he go to the well once more? Because McGrath is probably thinking to himself, well, I'm going to avoid the Yorker now. I'm going to pitch a bit shorter. In fact, what they're now doing is pushing the fine leg back and bringing up the mid on and saying to really, all right, the boundaries now are straight down the ground if you think you're good enough. Attended through the offside, a single, that's good enough. Woo! Wow, what a finish, what a run chase. Four off two. Cards, he's got it square, they're going for two. They have to come back. Oh, the dance, they do now. Oh, fair idea, why didn't they go for two? Somehow or other, he's basically got to hit a four. That we really run strong. Final delivery. They want three to win, two to tie. They want to win it. They deserve to win it, really. There's McGrath. Got it. Oh, no, they won't get there. This hit. So, in the end, Australia maintain their winning run, but what a wonderful effort by Zimbabwe. I think the crowd would be slightly disappointed when they realise what a great run chase this was, but they didn't win. Six for 301 after 50 overs. Really, 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 is the one that matters, and we've got uh, Heath Street. Yeah, too close for comfort. Uh, just uh, disappointing to get that close and uh, not come up with a victory. This has been another presentation from Nine's Wide World of Sports.